So I've decided to make a, what I would call a video series of the things that I've done to my cross track. I get a bunch of DMs um, asking about different things on the car. So I figured I'll just, you know, from the ones that are most popular, I'll start from there and then I'll go down the list and I'll just go through the mods that I've done. So let's get started. So the number one question I get asked is, what is my tire and wheel setup? So I'm running method, what is it? MR502 VT specs or something like that. And they're wrapped in Falcon Wild Peak AT3Ws, 235-75-15s. I was running Masma Open Ranges before this in a 215-75-15, but then I sized up once I got a bigger lift. Now I have a full size spare with these tires and I mean with this setup I do get a decent amount of rub. I mean I had to do a lot of cutting and smashing down there to get it to clear. It clears but when I'm braking, especially heavy braking, it'll rub. In the back, not so much rub. It used to be a lot closer before the back end started to sag with the bumper. But that, you can fit a quarter in there. I can pop up a picture about it. And then it was rubbing back here on the continuation of the bumper coming down. It was rubbing, so that's kind of why I went with the bumper. And it did rub on this a little bit, but it doesn't anymore because it the wheel itself smashed this metal piece back. So I don't have any more rubbing in the back, just the rub in the front from turning and even before I got the front bumper it never rubbed in the front because my bumper was already cut and I never had any um like fender liner down there so that's pretty much it for my wheels and tire setup nothing to complain apart from gas mileage but that's given so I hope you enjoyed this video and come back for the next one when we're talking about my lift and suspension setup